right, so let's have a look at the factors that influence the climate of a region. So what makes a specific area have the type of climate that it does? Well, these are the distance from the ocean, the temperature of these oceans, the latitudinal position of the region, and its elevation. All right, so now let's have a look at these factors in relation to South Africa. To the west of South Africa lies the cold Atlantic Ocean, which influences the climate of the western part of the country. To the east of South Africa lies the warm Indian Ocean, which influences the climate of the eastern part of the country. Also note the cold Benguela current that runs along the west coast in a northerly direction. And the warm Mozambique current that later becomes the Gullis current as it passes by the south coast. South Africa is located between 20 and 35 degrees south of the equator in the temperate latitudes. So we generally experience good weather throughout the year and temperatures are never excessively high nor excessively low. In order to understand the last factor of elevation, we need to first have a look at the main geographical features of the country. As can be seen here, there is a massive mountain range that extends along the entire coast of South Africa. This mountain range is called the Drakensberg. It is important to note that the eastern part of the Drakensberg mountain range is known as the Great Escarpment. The highest peak extends to 11,424 feet. The area highlighted here in red is known as the Interior Plateau. The majority of the Interior Plateau lies above 4,000 feet. To gain a clear picture of the interior terrain elevation, we will look at a cross section of the country, from the west coast, point A, to the east coast, point B. Here you can see the interior plateau marked in red and fully appreciate its elevation. A plateau is defined as an area of fairly level high ground. The section marked here in red is the escarpment. An escarpment is defined as a long steep slope especially one at the edge of a plateau. For a practical example of how elevation affects climate, note that South Africa and Australia are located roughly in the same latitudes. However, Australia experiences significantly higher temperatures during summer than we do. This is a result of our higher elevation, because an increase in height results in a decrease in temperature of roughly 1.98 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet. An increase in height of 4,000 feet would equal to a decrease in temperature of roughly 8 degrees Celsius. The simplest way to learn the climatic regions of South Africa is to imagine a line cutting the country in two. The western half is influenced by the cold Atlantic Ocean, and since cold air cannot hold a lot of moisture, there is little precipitation. The eastern half experiences a much higher rainfall because of its proximity to the warm Indian Ocean. Here, the ocean warms the air, which allows it to hold more moisture, and therefore there is more precipitation. So, there is little rain over the western parts and lots of rain over the eastern parts. The eastern interior or highfeld is classified as a temperate plateau. The word temperate meaning that the region is not subject to prolonged extremes of high or low temperatures, and the word plateau refers to the high, level ground that the region is situated on. As mentioned, the majority of this region lies above 4,000 feet. Here, it rains mainly in summer, and humidity is relatively low. The western interior is classified as a semi-desert or semi-arid interior plateau. The prefix semi means half, partially or incomplete, and is used here to imply that the majority of desert or arid climate characteristics are present, but not all, and again we see the words interior plateau denoting its location. This region experiences low rainfall throughout the year, but in all other aspects is similar to the eastern interior. The Namib or coastal desert is classified as desert 
in terms of low rainfall but with low temperatures due to the cold Atlantic Ocean and Benguela Current. Other noteworthy characteristics are the berg winds occurring in winter and coastal fog. Remember that berg winds occur when the air flows from the interior down the escarpment warming up as it descends and reaching the coast as a hot dry wind. The Cape Mediterranean is classified as Mediterranean or Semi-Mediterranean. The most important characteristic here is that it rains primarily in winter. The lowlands of southern and eastern Cape are classified as a temperate or subtropical coast and experiences even rainfall throughout the year. The Lowfeld is classified as tropical or subtropical and it rains here mostly in summer, just like in the neighbouring Highfeld region, but some rain occurs throughout the year. The purple region is the Drakensberg, also known as the Eastern or Great Escarpment. It experiences a climate similar to that of the coast, which is temperate or subtropical, however with lower temperatures due to its elevation. The white region is classified as a subtropical plateau, 